we were in the middle of turn two at, for the Allies, and in fact, it's not even the middle, it's the very beginning of the movement for turn two. And the scouts here and here have moved and exposed the units that are in Tolnitz and the Pheasant Garden and uh, Sokolinitz. Now, what this means is that I've had to deploy those guys. I had a rough plan of where they were going to go in any case, which was a good thing, but we have a skirmish, a skirmish unit, the uh, Legrand's uh, strongest infantry brigade there, or division, I should say, and then some detached uh, cannons with the line extension, and they're in line formation. Yes, that's correct. They're in line formation in the city. Uh, one thing to note that I perhaps had failed to mention or had forgotten was that whilst there is a one a hex line of sight visibility, there is actually also a provision in the concealed movement rules that once you're within two hexes or 400 meters, that you uh, you are able to you have to expose yourself. So we know this is a scout now, and we kind of knew that anyway. But uh, these guys had to expose their uh, their dispositions. So that's kind of that's kind of cool. Uh, now what I so what I've done now is move my second scout down. I move this other unit here, and as we all know, that eight is a uh, a uh, decoy unit, and it's pretending to move off towards uh, Kobolnitz. I have not yet moved two or three, but I have brought uh, Doctorov down. Number one is Doctorov. Uh, he was up here last turn, and he moved down somewhere around here, and now we're, we've moved him down to here. So I now, uh, let's turn him sideways so we know what we're doing, and I now have to move two and three and decide what I'm gonna do with those and whether to, in fact, begin engagement, or uh, wait until we have all the forces arrayed to uh, conduct a proper battle. In the meantime, I will then move the rest of the forces on the board. All right.